today's video I'm going to show you how to go ahead and install custom recovery on your Galaxy Tab 3 and um, it's going to be a pretty simple process with Odin but let me just go ahead and show you guys what we're running right here go into settings and we're going to go to about device and just show you that this is the SM-T210R like I said, this is the Wi-Fi version of the Galaxy Tab 3. What we're going to do is show you guys how to flash custom recovery through Odin. Um, and to do this, uh, we're going to go over to my computer. First thing I want you to note, though, first of all, is make sure you have good battery life. I've got 85%. This process shouldn't take very long, but we want to make sure that everything's going to go smoothly for you while you do this. So that's what we're working right with right here. This is a device and we're going to go over to my computer and go through the directions okay guys so here we are right here on XDA um, and this right here is the directions for installing TWRP recovery or Team 1 recovery project and this is where you're going to get the files these are the two files I have right here which are also here and here and this is what you're going to be following this is the directions I'm basically going to follow on how to flash this so highly recommend going over here I'll put this in the video description and please read up on how to do this I will go over as best steps as I can with you as we go um, so first thing you're gonna do is plug your computer your device into the computer and install the drivers this is the drivers you have to put it in both uh, USB modes along with turning on um, in developer options turning on uh, USB debugging and that kind of stuff um, which I'm not really going to go over. This isn't super important because Odin, when you get into Odin, it'll also install drivers, and the Odin drivers are the most important drivers. But what we're going to do over here, these are the files I got right here. This one right here is a universal root zip, which will allow you to root your device after you install custom recovery. And you want to go ahead and send that over to the device and put it on the micro SD card or you know internal storage. Um, and then this is the recovery uh, file, and you're just going to open it up and extract it and you hit extract bloop right there and it'll extract and it'll look like this right here recovery.tar.md5 so that's the process you're going to want right there you're also going to want to download another program here which I will show you which is called Odin and I have Odin version 3.07 exe and you're going to download it and it should look like this again the directions for this are in that form on XDA um, so what's very important to do from here is to go ahead and click on PDA and wherever you downloaded that and extracted that that little file which we had over in the last screen you're gonna click on it mine's already there because I pulled it up already and you're gonna hit open and it's gonna list it right over here on the side along with doing a little check to make sure that the file is good and it is you can see it did a little bit of check over here on the side um, so we're, we're pretty much ready here almost um, let me go over the last couple quick things so let's go over back to my device and show you how to get into uh, download mode slash Odin mode to flash this over okay so here we are on the device and we want to get into download mode so what we're gonna do is we're gonna power off and hit OK and that should go ahead and shut down the device which it should be and then what we're going to do to get into download slash Odin mode is we're going to hold the home button, we're going to hold the volume down button, and we're going to hold the uh, power button. And if you just keep holding them, it should boot to this screen, which tells you a warning about it, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, to get past it, you hit volume up to continue, and you will move into download mode. This is download mode right here. So from here, the easiest thing, and then all you got to do from here is take your USB cable right here and go ahead and just plug it into the bottom of your device. If I can get it here. There we go. And you just heard my computer going to doop. So uh, let's just go back to my computer here and see what we got. Okay, so we're over here, and you can see my USB drivers mm -hmm. right here are now doing something else they're installing more stuff I left this window open so you could see it so you want to make sure that this finishes installing right here installing and you should see what you actually just saw it populate now well, that's interesting 
said it's unplugged, it's plugged, unplugged, device unplugged. Not sure why it did that, maybe just on the install of that driver, but it shouldn't really make any difference because we are working over here. So we're going to go ahead and close, well just ignore that for right now. The important part is that you should see right here, you should see COM and a number. The number doesn't matter, but this needs to be lit up and you should see a COM, com some number right here. That's important. That means your device is actually uh, attached. Um, and that is probably the most important part you can find right there. So we've done that and it says device added, device removed, device added. It should say device added. That is also important at, at the end right here before you flash anything. Last two things I'm going to go over with you guys is the repartition. This absolutely do not check. This will break your device if you do that. Absolutely do not check it. Next, we're going to go to auto reboot. We're going to turn that off. And F restart timer, we'll leave that alone. So everything should be ready now. And we're going to go ahead and hit start. And it's doing something. You can see it's flashing a recovery up here. NAN right start, it says right here. And rest OK. All that's good. It says OK. All right. So. Um, everything is technically done. It does say reset. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close Odin. And we'll ignore that. We can, we can close this out. Let's go back over to my device and uh, see what we have over there. And we'll check, finish this up. Alright, so the recovery is flashed, but we need to get out of this mode. It says do not turn off target, but you have to to do this. So what you're going to do is just go ahead and hold um, home, volume up and power okay and uh, just hold them for just a little bit here and it should power off once it does you're gonna see a Samsung logo and then you can let go of power but keep holding home and volume up and we should boot into Twerp recovery or team win recovery project once you see that screen you can stop holding the buttons and there you go you have installed Twerp recovery on your device super duper awesome now first thing I would recommend doing from this point you don't have root access yet so go ahead and do an Android backup and we're gonna back up we're gonna back up all of it um, all that stuff we're gonna set a backup name and we're gonna call it stock and we're gonna give it the date which is nine what is that? 25, 13, and hit enter. And then we're just going to swipe across, and we're going to use. We're actually going to use external. I want to store it in external. Mark cache and swipe across. Now this is going to do an Android backup. Now that we have recovery installed, this is super recommended, especially before you root, because if you ever want to restore to full stock, you can do this, and then boom, you'll have full stock back to the way the device was before you did any hacking on it. So that's a very sweet uh, setup right there. So we're going to let this Android run. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to root the device also, mine as well. And we'll reboot and we'll show you the finished product here. One thing you guys are going to notice in Team One Recovery Project is that the recovery has a screen saver. So if you hold power again, it brings the screen back up and then if you slide across, it turns it back on so you can actually see it again. So this recovery, just so you guys know really quick, is probably going to take up to 10 minutes to make. So it does take some time. Um, it's going to be about 2 gigs in size for this device. So just be prepared for that and aware of it. Just let it be patient. You might as well leave the room, come back in 10 minutes and unlock your screen by holding the, hitting the power button. And then unlock your screen and keep going from there. Alright, so you can see that the backup has completed. It says successful right there on top. We're going to go ahead and hit back. Hit back over here. And then you do have controls up here, and I think these controls also function for you as well. So, if you ever want to get back in here and restore this backup you just made, it's very simple. All you got to do is boot into it the same way with the volume up, home, and power from a powered off state. Then go to restores, click restore on that device, on that backup right there, and hit restore, and boom, you'll restore exactly back to that exact state. Whatever apps, any settings you had, everything will restore exactly to when you made that backup. So now, we want to go ahead and get you guys root access on this device. We put that file on the SD card, so we're going to go to installs, and I have it under root. And there's the file right there. We're going to select it, and we're going to swipe across. 
and that is it boom that's it very simple that should uh, go ahead and give us root access toe at this point we can reboot system right here we can go back out of it and just look at it this way look at some of the other settings but we can go ahead and do reboot and then reboot system there too it doesn't matter either way you want to do it should work fine for you but that there you go that's it that's torque recovery on your galaxy tab 3 and uh, we're going to go ahead and just show you guys root access as this thing boots up so now this does go through um Upgrading Android is upgrading and starting applications. Uh, that's because of that root access file you flashed, that zip file, um, which you don't don't extract. You just put it on the device and flash it as a zip. That's how all um, mods and ROMs are flashed as zips. So we're going to go in here to our app drawer, and we should be able to find there it is, Super Sue. And the last thing you want to do is go ahead and update Super Sue should yeah okay so no thanks for that and we should be able to go into settings doesn't look like it's even going to ask you to update it a little surprise you should have it in there so I'm gonna say it's functioning uh, let me go ahead and download really quick for you guys uh, root checker okay so let me go ahead and show you guys root checker we're gonna open up uh, go to the Play Store here now I'd also recommend right here is going into Super Sue on Google Play and doing an update of it. I don't think the version you flash when you get root access is the newest so go ahead and do an update and then open up super user and it should ask you to update the application there. Um, the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to go do a search and we're going to go to root checker and I've already installed it so we're just going to open up the application and right here it says verify root access and boom. Now normally it would come up with the thing asking you about that to verify root access, a little thing from super user, a little box. But um, I already done it, so it doesn't do it. But right here it says, congratulations, this device has root access. Boom, there you guys go. That is the uh, full and root access on the Galaxy Tab 3. That is everything. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Hope it was informative for you. Uh, as always, hey, check me out at rootjunkie.com. It's my website. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter on the other side. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.